nice to come home to three This is John McMahon. For some time, we have wondered how we might demonstrate simply and briefly just how we operate at the greater 3UZ, what happens to your advertising, and who presents your cell to our mighty audience. This recording will help you, will provide an opportunity for you to meet our personalities and hear them at work. Instead of using dummy commercials, we have prepared copy which tells something of our operation and our policy. In other words, the greater 3UZ story. UZ is on the air from 5.30 in the morning until midnight. And every activity in those hours is strictly commercial in its presentation to reach the maximum buying audience. The first man on the air each day is Clock Happy Tiny Snell, one of the most experienced, brightest and hardest hitting announcers in Australia. I've handled breakfast sessions for over 20 years and that's quite a record. In that time I've made a lot of friends. Frankly, I'm a pretty blunt character. I try to be honest with my listeners and I believe they react to it. I'm sure that basically that's the secret of any success I've had. Look, let's not be modest about this. I'm a salesman. I was trained as a salesman. Everything I handled from telling the time to selling soap, I present as a salesman. And I'm proud to say I get good sales results. When your product comes onto my schedule, you can rest assured I'll give it all I've got. The experts say that the key to radio's future success will be bound in the things it does best. In music, news and sport. The backbone of our new deal for listeners is in the use of the best and brightest music obtainable presented by radio's most knowledgeable disc jockey. Meet DJ Dick Hemming. I started as a panel operator. In other words, I learnt my records from the ground up. In the ten years since I left school, all I've done is study, spin and comment on top pop discs. So I know what I'm talking about when I say that 3UZ has the best hit library in Melbourne. Because of that, my job is a pushover. I am able to present music to teenagers days ahead of any other local disc jockey. The volume of mail I receive each week is proof that our policy is paying off. Dick is right, for we spare no expense, particularly with imported discs, to keep the teenagers on their toes. And as Dick says, we have an enormous teenage audience. News is vitally important. 3UZ has one of the best radio news gathering organizations in Australia. Our newsroom, complete with round the clock teleprinter service, our radio-controlled news vans and a staff of top newsmen backed by the vast resources of the Melbourne age make it possible to broadcast the news as it happens throughout the day and the night. And this is important. UZ presents eight complete news bulletins and no fewer than 20 news flashes and on-the-spot news reports each day. Melbourne has no Sunday papers, so at the weekend, Three UZ news vans work round the clock to feed the special Sunday news services and magazine news beats. This keeps listeners up to the minute by the minute. Head of this successful organization is news editor Tom Jones. Here is the news read by Tom Jones. As a counter to TV, 3UZ will introduce a new streamlined form of broadcast presentation from March the 30th. This was announced by 3UZ's general manager, Mr. Lewis Bennett, this week. The new format will include a friendly style of announcing, frequent time calls, comprehensive weather reports, additional news services, early morning rock and roll hit parades and new drama features. Mr. Bennett said experts had devised the new format after two years' study of listener trends. The latest technical equipment would be installed to ensure the highest standard of listener reception. Program manager John McMahon will school announcers in an entirely new style, placing emphasis on friendliness and knowledge of recorded music and artists. Each 3UZ announcer will be a disc jockey and individual personality. 3UZ will foster personalities. And that was the news read by Tom Jones. News flashes come from all sources and are broadcast by 3UZ immediately on receipt. News reports are on-the-spot commentaries. 
Brief interviews with victims and eyewitnesses are broadcast direct from the news van by shortwave or recorded on tape and returned to the studio. When news is hot, these reports are progressively followed up every 10 minutes or so to keep the audience informed of developments and to hold listeners to the station. Here is an actual example handled by the 3UZ News Department. Just after 7 o'clock this morning at D24 Russell Street Police Headquarters, we have a report that a Mrs. Kisman has rung from 168 Haldine Street, Bow Morris. The phone report says simply and dramatically, I have murdered my two children. A Dr. Wilson from Bow Morris is on the scene at this moment shortly after 7 o'clock and reports back to Russell Street Police Headquarters that one child is dead but the other is still living. Ten minutes later, three U.S. had news roundsman John Worthy broadcast this. A usually orderly Sunday morning has been thrust into turmoil. I have just witnessed the arrest of a young married woman alleged to have murdered her seven-year-old daughter and mortally wounded her few months old son. Detective Timmons from the Homicide Squad has taken her to Russell Street Police Headquarters for questioning. Three police cars on the street give it a definite note of authority to this luxurious bayside area. A few neighbours have wandered to their front gates, surveying the activity. Earlier, these people told me that the young mother involved in the tragedy was one of the quietest and most lovable persons that they had ever met. The murder house itself is of a very neat and contemporary design. The colour scheming is of green and pastel pink. The garden exceptionally well cared for. And I seem to notice a few kiddies' toys lying around the side of the house. The telephone is connected for I do understand that a doctor, a local doctor, was called in. The husband rang from the home. This probably accounts for the fact that neighbours heard no sound out of the ordinary. The first they knew about it was the blast of police sirens breaking through the early morning quiet. At this stage, I have been requested by police not to enter the house. The police photographer is engaged, photographing both the interior and the exterior of the dwelling. Senior Constable Mackay of the Wireless Patrol and Senior Constable Levere of the CIB are in charge of investigations. 30 minutes later came this report. We have just received a message to the effect that doctors are at this moment fighting for the life of the second child at the children's hospital. That was only one of the many dramatic stories told by the 3UZ News Department every day of every week. The 3UZ reputation for first in sport has been built by Australia's best sporting team, Fred Tupper, Bert Bryant, John Russell, George Andrew, Ted Rippon, John Bromwich, and Roly Barley. Fred Tupper is sporting editor, and here he is to tell his own story. At 3UZ, sport is a daily affair, because it's our policy to cover every major event. Wherever there is a public demand for sporting service, we meet it fully. You may not know that 3UZ is the only station in Victoria broadcasting descriptions of all metropolitan and country race meetings. Here then is 3UZ's Bert Bryant, Australia's greatest race caster, calling the final stages of the 1957 Melbourne Cup. Two and a half furlongs to go towards the member's stand where straight draws go to the front from Gallon Lee. Prince Darius coming out to the rails, finishing well, followed by Allura. And Monte Carlo's beaten in Baron Boise here. Pandy Sun coming from a long way back, straight draw in front. Prince Darius going after straight door with three parts of a furlong to go. Straight draw in front, Prince Darius coming at it, and here's Pandy Sun with a belated effort. It's straight draw just in front of uh, Prince Darius, and straight draw is going to win the cup. Straight draw first by a half length to Prince Darius, third was Pandy Sun, then came... In the past 12 months, our race casters, Bert Brandt and John Russell, have travelled more than 60,000 miles to cover 179 race meetings and 32 night trots. Their names are a byword to listeners throughout all southern states. Bookmakers use our service direct in New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania. During the football season, George Andrew and Ted Rippon cover the principal league game each Saturday and night football throughout the week. To supplement this service, 3UZ is the only station providing progress scores and highlights direct from all other grounds. Professional and amateur tennis, handled by John Bromish, Tom Warhurst and Roly Bali, is rebroadcast in every state in the Commonwealth, as are athletics, swimming and cycling from championship venues. 
I handle boxing and wrestling from the stadium. Only two stations in Melbourne have these rights. Yes, I'm mighty proud of the sporting department. The experience gained by 3UZ as headquarters for the Federation's national coverage of the Olympic Games makes it the ideal vehicle for your sporting placements. At this moment, 3UZ has one of the best announcing teams in its 35 years of broadcasting. The perfect blend of mature experience with the enthusiasm of conscientious young men. You've met Tiny Snell, Dick Hemming, Tom Jones, John Worthy and Fred Tupper. Now you should meet our chief announcer, Bob Cornish. 26 years of age, 10 years of solid experience in all departments of broadcasting in the city and country, and one of radio's future greats. There is nothing haphazard about 3UZ announcer's approach to work. At a weekly meeting, all new copy to come into our schedule is tabled, bugs are ironed out, and the sales department report on results of special commercials. Styles of microphone setting are rehearsed and discussed, and these meetings allow an expression of thought on the commercial approach, which in my experience is quite unique. I'd like you to meet some of our air salesmen. You like their voices and their drive. Recently, we brought a talented and forthright young man from Tasmania. His name is Don Rainsford. 3UZ is beating competition in Melbourne by sheer determination to do better in every department than any other station. It has taken time and a turnover of staff, but today the 3UZ team and the 3UZ service carry a seal of efficiency geared for only one purpose, to successfully sell your merchandise in a large and loyal buying market. With a flexible policy capable of adjustment to meet changing conditions and listener trends, the greater 3UZ with its smooth organisation, vital programmes and enthusiastic air salesmen use its full 5,000 watts aerial power to speed your message over Victoria with an intensity that must get results. In Melbourne, use 3UZ, for 3UZ packs a mighty punch. That hard-hitting announcement was made by Don Rainsford. And now let me introduce Les Heil. Don't change from a winning formula. Radio with its years of specialization in person-to-person -person selling has proved its power of sellability at fractional cost. Compare the cost per impact and the results for investment with those of other media. Radio must win hands down for radio is the most economical buy in the advertising field. True, it must be used intelligently and that means in Melbourne that your placement must, for your product's sake, be on the greater 3UZ. 3UZ packs a mighty punch. That announcement was read by Les Heil. One of the smoothest and best salesmen in our team is Bill Ackfield. Let me make three suggestions. Firstly, call in 3UZ for discussion before you finalise your radio schedules. Immediately, the Brains Trust, a group of broadcasting's highest paid and most knowledgeable executives, will be placed at your disposal to make your planning work. Secondly, use the 3UZ recording department for your recorded commercials. Four studios and two production rooms with the most modern equipment in Australia are available on call at competitive rates. Thirdly, place your campaign in Melbourne's most enthusiastic station. Every placement becomes a complete promotion and maximum results are a foregone conclusion. Yes, indeed, 3UZ packs a mighty punch. That was Bill Ackfield. Now let me introduce Graham Linden. 3UZ is known for the strength of its publicity. The promotion of its own service and the backing of its clients' programs have the same aggressive character, the same enthusiasm that gets results. The whole of 3UZ's publicity policy is planned with one objective, to increase the size of its buying audience. You have heard some of our front men. Their success would not be possible without the enterprise and initiative of the departmental executives, the brains behind the men with the guns. Program manager John McMahon, Australia's Mr. Show Business, with a lifetime of experience feeling the public's entertainment pulse. Sales manager Bill Holmes, one of the most knowledgeable and capable operators in the business. Studio and recording manager Clive Waters, a top detail man, combining all the ingredients which make smooth production of our studio operation. Publicity manager Bill Dodd, brilliant promotions man, bringing all the magic of his theatre and movie background to the selling of 3UZ and its clients' programmes. Studio supervisor Lloyd Lawson, the man who coordinates on the spot the presentation of programmes and commercials. 
Continuity manager Dick McGree, a great writer with a selling brain. Chief engineer Bill Vagona, the man who made the miracles we perform technically possible. And now I introduce the head of 3UZ, general manager Lewis Bennett. By now you'll have guessed the reason we made this recording. It wasn't intended to entertain you. It was intended to demonstrate to you what we're capable of doing at 3UZ. It wasn't possible to be modest. Because the whole of our history has been bound up in an investment in the best available executives, staff, programs and technical facilities. The experiment has been costly. But as a virile, effective specialty selling organisation, we've had incredible results. I know that this recording will cement a better understanding and bring us closer together. And believe me, we'll back it up. All our services, studios, recording rooms, research and planning departments are available to you on call. We'll do anything to make radio easier to buy. And now all my colleagues at the Greater 3UZ join me in thanking you for the time you've spent at this meeting. Nice to come home to. Three, you.